It's the teen killing that brought outrage in Washington, D.C. Tonight, murder charges announced against the man who shot 13-year-old Karan Blake to death as some of the boy's last words are being revealed. On Monday, that arrest warrant was signed by the judge charging 41-year-old Jason Lewis of Northeast D.C. with second-degree murder while armed. According to the affidavit, after being shot by Lewis, the teenager can be heard on recordings yelling, quote, I am sorry, please don't, and I am a kid. The murder charge comes after Karan's family and a number of community members spent weeks demanding authorities identify the shooter and make an arrest. Emotions were highly charged. This is a fact, a murder, a homicide. MPD, the U.S. Attorney Office, do your damn job. D.C. Metro Police laid out more details from the shooting at 4 a.m. on January 7th. This after speaking to witnesses, reviewing video, and uncovering new evidence. Police Chief Robert Conti saying Karan was with at least two other people shining flashlights into cars. They were peering into cars uh, that were that were in the block in front of where Mr. Uh, Lewis resides, and they were going in, into the cars. According to police, Lewis first fired into one of the cars. I think the biggest grievance is that the first shot that was fired was actually fired at someone who was sitting in a, in a vehicle who was not a, an immediate threat to the, pers uh, to the person who fired the shot. Police say these surveillance images from the affidavit then show Lewis raising his left arm and firing at Karan. At some point, uh, Karan ran toward uh, Mr. Lewis, and Mr. Lewis uh, fired shots, striking uh, Karan and killing him. He was standing outside of uh, his door, uh, but still uh, on the property. According to the affidavit, a witness told police that Karan got about five feet away from Lewis before they heard the shot. Mr. Lewis, in this case, was a, a, con a, a licensed concealed carry permit a holder on, on his property when the shooting uh, happened. Conti said Lewis, an employee for the D.C. Department of Parks and Recreation, made, quote, somewhat of a self-defense claim. If the prosecution introduces evidence that Blake said things like, I'm sorry, and I'm just 12 years old. This could be devastating for the defense because it tends to show that this person was not a threat to the defendant. An attorney for Lewis said his client maintains his innocence, writing in part, while this is certainly a tragedy, once all the facts are heard, I believe that a jury will find that there was no crime here. Karan's family spoke to Tom just days after the shooting. Even though he snuck outside 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, he still shouldn't have got shot for playing with a car. This man shot my grandson more than once. It just don't make sense. All right, Yamish joins us now from Washington tonight. Yamish, talk to me about the community response to these charges and what the mayor is saying tonight. Well, Tom, clearly the community was pushing to identify the shooter, to identify what happened. They wanted real answers here. They wanted accountability. And now the community is feeling it seems like they are getting some of that accountability. But you could hear in the police chief's press conference that he was really speaking to the people who thought maybe this took too long. And he was saying at the end of the day, they were not going to be rushed into an investigation. And of course, as you said, the D.C. mayor did release a statement thanking the police for what she called a, quote, thorough investigation, in some way nodding to the fact that this took a little bit longer than some people would have liked. She also said, quote, Karan Blake's death was needless. Too many guns are leading to too many tragedies. We cannot fuel this horrific and traumatizing cycle of violence without every person, family, and community helping to keep our young people safe. So really, the D.C. mayor here releasing that statement, in some ways applauding the police work here, and also getting at the idea that the community wants answers. We, of course, had Jason Lewis um, have his first court appearance. Both families were in court. That would be the family of Jason Lewis as well as Karan Blake. Um, neither one of them spoke, but the idea is that at least now now the process is moving forward in a way that people were hoping it would, Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.